Welcome, fellow seekers of wisdom, to a profound exploration of human behavior through the lens of Stoicism. In today's enlightening journey, we unveil seven captivating psychological insights into girls' behavior that will challenge your perceptions and ignite your quest for self-mastery. Prepare to be intrigued as we unravel the mysteries of empathy, resilience, and intuitive wisdom, drawing parallels between timeless Stoic principles and modern psychology. Join us as we embark on a voyage of discovery, unlocking the secrets to overcoming destructive emotions and finding serenity within. If you find resonance in our exploration, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Together, let's embrace the wisdom of the ages and chart a course towards a more enlightened existence. Let the journey begin. 1. The Power of Empathy Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is often seen as a predominantly feminine trait, yet it holds immense power and significance in the philosophy of Stoicism. Stoicism, often misunderstood as a practice of emotional suppression, actually emphasizes the importance of connecting deeply with our fellow human beings. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus articulated this beautifully, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. In modern psychology, empathy is recognized as a crucial component of emotional intelligence. It allows individuals to navigate social complexities, build stronger relationships, and foster a sense of community. For girls, this trait is often more pronounced, reflecting their heightened sensitivity to the emotional states of those around them. From a Stoic perspective, empathy is not merely about feeling others' pain, but about understanding it in a way that fosters compassion and rational action. It is through empathy that we develop patience, an essential Stoic virtue. Patience enables us to remain calm in the face of adversity and to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Moreover, empathy serves as a bridge to greater wisdom. By understanding the experiences and perspectives of others, we gain insights into our own lives and the human condition as a whole. This broader understanding helps us to cultivate a more balanced and resilient mindset, better equipped to handle life's challenges. To harness the power of empathy is to embrace a fundamental aspect of our humanity. It is a reminder that our strength lies not in isolation, but in our connections with others. Through empathy, we practice one of Stoicism's core principles, the recognition that we are all part of a larger whole. This interconnectedness is a source of strength, guiding us toward a life of virtue and tranquility. In sum, empathy is a profound strength, a gateway to deeper understanding and inner peace. It teaches us to listen, to connect, and to respond with kindness and wisdom. By integrating empathy into our daily lives, we not only enhance our own well-being, but also contribute to the harmony and resilience of our communities. 2. Emotional Intelligence Girls often demonstrate higher emotional intelligence, an essential skill for navigating life's complexities. Emotional intelligence involves the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions, while also being attuned to the emotions of others. This capability aligns closely with stoic practices of self-awareness and self-control. In the teachings of the stoic philosopher Seneca, we find a profound emphasis on mastering oneself. No man is free who is not master of himself, he asserted. This mastery is at the heart of emotional intelligence. It is not about suppressing our feelings, but rather about acknowledging and guiding them in a constructive manner. Emotional intelligence helps us respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively, a fundamental principle in Stoic philosophy. For instance, imagine a stressful situation at work. Someone with high emotional intelligence would recognize their rising anger, understand its source, and choose to respond calmly, seeking resolution rather than conflict. 
This approach mirrors the stoic exercise of maintaining equanimity regardless of external circumstances. Furthermore, emotional intelligence enhances our relationships by fostering empathy and effective communication. When we understand and respect the emotions of others, we build stronger, more supportive connections. Marcus Aurelius, another great Stoic thinker, wrote, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Emotional intelligence enables us to cherish these aspects of life, deepening our human experience. In essence, by cultivating emotional intelligence, we practice a core tenet of Stoicism transforming our inner world to achieve peace and resilience. This skill empowers us to navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom, much like the Stoics, who sought to master their inner selves to maintain tranquility amidst the chaos of the external world. 3. Social Connectivity Girls tend to place a high value on social connections and community, a trait that aligns closely with Stoic philosophy. The Stoics believed that we are all interconnected, part of a larger human family. This idea is beautifully captured in Marcus Aurelius's words, what is bad for the hive is bad for the bee. By recognizing our interconnectedness, we understand that our well-being is tied to the well-being of those around us. In practical terms, this means that fostering strong, healthy relationships is essential not only for personal happiness, but for societal harmony. Girls often excel in building and maintaining these connections, creating networks of support that are crucial during times of stress and adversity. This ability to nurture social bonds contributes to resilience, providing a foundation of mutual support and understanding. From a Stoic perspective, valuing social connectivity is about more than just being sociable. It's about recognizing our duty to contribute positively to the lives of others. By doing so, we strengthen the fabric of our communities and, in turn, receive support and strength. It's a cycle of giving and receiving that fortifies our inner and outer worlds. Thus. By embracing the value of social connectivity, we not only enhance our own lives but also fulfill a fundamental Stoic principle – to live in harmony with others and contribute to the common good. This interconnectedness is not a sign of dependency, but a testament to our collective strength and resilience. 4. Resilience in Adversity Throughout history, Women have demonstrated remarkable resilience in the face of adversity, a quality that mirrors the stoic principle of enduring hardship with grace and dignity. Resilience is not merely the ability to withstand difficulties, but the strength to transform challenges into opportunities for growth. This echoes the words of Marcus Aurelius who said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Consider the stories of women who have faced immense challenges, those who have fought for their rights, navigated through personal losses, and overcome societal barriers. Their resilience is a testament to the human spirit's ability to rise above circumstances, a lesson deeply embedded in Stoic philosophy. The mythologist Joseph Campbell observed that, Opportunities to find deeper powers within ourselves come when life seems most challenging. This insight aligns with the Stoic belief that adversity is a teacher, revealing our inner strengths and fortifying our character. When we encounter obstacles, we can either succumb to despair or view these challenges as opportunities to cultivate our inner fortitude. In practical terms, resilience involves maintaining a steadfast attitude in the face of life's inevitable setbacks. It requires us to control our reactions, remain calm under pressure, and persist despite difficulties. As Epictetus wisely noted, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By observing the resilience of girls and women, 
we learn valuable lessons about our own capacity for perseverance. Their stories inspire us to embrace our challenges, understanding that each trial we face is a chance to grow stronger and wiser. This perspective transforms adversity from a source of suffering into a catalyst for personal development. In the spirit of Stoicism, let us strive to embody this resilience. Let us face our challenges with courage and dignity, knowing that every obstacle is an opportunity to refine our character and deepen our wisdom. Through resilience, we find the strength to navigate life's storms and emerge with a clearer sense of purpose and inner peace. 5. Communication Skills Girls often excel in communication, a skill that is vital for resolving conflicts and fostering understanding. Communication is more than just exchanging words. It is about connecting with others on a deeper level, understanding their perspectives, and expressing our thoughts clearly and empathetically. In Stoicism, effective communication is seen as a way to cultivate harmony and wisdom. The philosopher Musonius Rufus emphasized the importance of speaking well and listening carefully. He believed that proper speech should be both honest and kind, fostering mutual respect and understanding. Through mindful communication, we can navigate misunderstandings and build stronger, more meaningful connections. Consider this, when we communicate effectively, we reduce the likelihood of conflict and misunderstanding. We create an environment where ideas can be shared openly and where people feel heard and valued. This is not just a professional skill, but a life skill, essential for personal and societal well-being. Effective communication also involves active listening. This means giving full attention to the speaker, acknowledging their message, and responding thoughtfully. By doing so, we show respect and empathy, which are crucial for building trust and rapport. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, reminds us that we have been given two ears and one mouth, so that we may listen more than we speak. This balance is essential for understanding others and ourselves. In a world where miscommunication is common, honing our communication skills can set us apart. It allows us to convey our ideas clearly, resolve conflicts peacefully, and build lasting relationships. By embracing this stoic principle, we not only improve our interactions with others, but also enhance our own personal growth. Thus, communication is not merely a tool for interaction. It is a bridge that connects us to others, fostering a sense of community and shared understanding. It is through effective communication that we can navigate the complexities of human relationships and emerge stronger, wiser, and more compassionate. 6. Nurturing Nature the nurturing nature often observed in girls aligns with the Stoic ideal of benevolence and care for others. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, emphasizes the importance of living in harmony with nature and with our fellow human beings. This principle of nurturing is not just about physical care, but about cultivating kindness, empathy and support for those around us. Seneca, one of the great Stoic philosophers, teaches us that kindness is a fundamental virtue. He believed that true strength comes from the ability to be gentle and compassionate, even in the face of adversity. Wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for a kindness, he wrote. This nurturing spirit is a testament to the power of love and generosity in overcoming destructive emotions and fostering a sense of community. When we nurture others, we also nurture our own souls. This act of caring creates a cycle of compassion and strength. It's a reminder that our actions ripple out into the world, influencing those around us and coming back to us in unexpected ways. By adopting a nurturing attitude, we build a foundation of mutual support and resilience, which is essential for both personal and collective well-being. Moreover, Nurturing is not limited to personal relationships. It extends to our communities and environments. In a professional context, nurturing can mean mentoring colleagues, fostering a positive work culture, and contributing to the collective success. 
It's about seeing beyond oneself and understanding that our well-being is interconnected with the well-being of others. In essence, the nurturing nature is a powerful force for good. It embodies the stoic belief that we are all part of a larger whole and our actions should reflect that interconnectedness. By nurturing others, we embody the stoic virtues of wisdom, justice, courage and temperance. We become not only better individuals, but also catalysts for a more compassionate and resilient world. As we embrace this nurturing spirit, we align ourselves with the stoic path, which teaches us to find strength in our ability to care, to love and to connect with others. This, in turn, helps us overcome our own destructive emotions and leads us towards a life of inner peace and fulfillment. 7. Intuitive Wisdom Girls frequently display intuitive wisdom, an inner knowing that transcends rational thought. This intuition is not mere guesswork. It is a profound insight born of empathy, experience and emotional intelligence. Think of it as a finely tuned inner compass that guides actions and decisions with remarkable accuracy. In Stoicism, this concept aligns with the idea of the inner citadel, a fortress of inner strength and wisdom that each of us possesses. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, often emphasized the importance of looking inward. He said, look within, within is the fountain of good and it will ever bubble up if thou wilt ever dig. This means that true wisdom and guidance come from within, from that deep intuitive understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Intuitive wisdom helps navigate complex social dynamics, anticipate others' needs, and make decisions that harmonize with both personal and communal well-being. It's a blend of subconscious processing and conscious awareness that enables girls to sense the right course of action even when logical reasoning alone might fall short. In our own lives, we can cultivate this intuitive wisdom by practicing mindfulness and self-reflection, by paying attention to our inner thoughts and feelings, and by learning to trust our gut instincts we can develop a deeper, more nuanced understanding of our surroundings and ourselves. This doesn't mean disregarding reason or evidence, but integrating them with our intuitive insights to make balanced and informed decisions. So let us learn from this profound capacity for intuition. Let us dig deep into our inner citadel, trusting that the wellspring of wisdom within us will guide us through life's challenges. By doing so, we align ourselves with the stoic ideal of self-mastery and inner peace, transforming our lives in the process. As our journey through the depths of stoicism draws to a close, may the insights we've uncovered serve as guiding stars on your path to self-discovery and inner peace. Remember, true wisdom lies not only in understanding others, but in mastering ourselves. If this exploration has resonated with you, we invite you to continue your quest for knowledge and enlightenment by watching our next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our journey of discovery together. Thank you for joining us on this transformative voyage. Until next time, may you walk the path of Stoicism with clarity, courage and compassion. Let us continue to seek truth and wisdom one step at a time.